cheap for Davey Allison, who won the Daytona 500 back then. Right now, he's looking to get back. Well, we got Bill Coffey coming across the stripe, but after being into the wall, coming out of turn number four, so Bill Coffey brings out the caution once again. Race, just to get back to 11. Take a look at what happened here with Coffey. He's the 18 on the outside, into the wall there, and then just stayed in the wall all the way through the trial. Yeah, he may have cut his tire down, but it wasn't drastic. You can see he's already into the outside wall there, and then makes a little more contact. And there when the you car see the 48 come of off the wall. James Hilton. Remember, James Hilton, a 76-year-old driver here. A lot of damage to the back of James's car. Let's see if we can see what happened here. See two cars together. That's James on the inside of the racetrack. Moves up the hill right in front of Sloan Henderson. She had absolutely nowhere to go as well as Rick Clifton in the 11 car. Clifton stays up against the wall. Sloan came down as well as James. But it looked like James was in front of another car and got turned around right on the bottom of the racetrack. A lot of damage to that the final time. car. That's Brandon McReynolds in front of Chris Windham trying to hold on. Coming out of turn number four. Windham's Look at out the gap. run. Look at the run by Bobby Gerhardt. Gerhardt on the, gas. Gerhard on the outside. Four wide as they come into the trioval. Gerhardt coming through the trioval and he'll win again. Eight-time winner, Bobby Gerhardt. No trouble as they pass across the start-finish line. And all sorts of cars out of fuel. Great variation in speed. Somebody got together. They need to slow it down here. This race is over. There's cars flying through here with cars sideways. Did we just 